at the end. Okay. So, now, where is the nearest truck stop? Hey, right there. Isn't it just like backing up a normal trailer except a ton easier to jackknife? <laughs> no, well, I mean, I guess. But no, <laughs> not really. It's like if you turn right and the truck the the back of the truck goes left, the the number of articulation points you add onto that toggles it back and forth. So a double articulated trailer and then the articulation point on the truck, that would be three articulation points. You would you would turn right. The next piece would turn left, the piece after that would turn right, and the piece after that one would turn left. So the whole thing would start zigzagging. Uh, technically, there's three trailers. There's a small dolly, tr using Lucid's term, there's a small dolly trailer behind my truck, then the trailer holding the load, then another dolly trailer after that one. So there's the two articulation points on the trailer alone, and then the articulation point on my truck. So yeah, nightmare. <laughs> Dolly trailers are there to spread out the weight? That's kind of what I assumed. Because I know a certain number of axles can only be rated to a certain weight limit. And so if something exceeds the weight limit of the trailer that it's on, you have to add additional axles with the dolly trailers to help hold the weight, I guess. Let's get in here and check out my upgrades. Okay, so let's fix the truck first. All the damage to my tires. Okay. Now let's, oh, that's service, sorry, whoops. Let's go to the upgrades. So I could go to the high-rise sleeper. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if I like that. It, I do like the look. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I got the 6x4 long 300 gallon. Okay, that's not going to change. Transmission. No, this is engine. Sorry. I have the biggest engine available. 18 speed. Hmm. So lucid. What? I guess these are giving me torque multipliers? What is this for? Oh, I can't haul. Oh. Everything goes down. So this 18 speed right here is basically the best. At least for my current setup. Good lord, those other transmissions are just blech. Alright, forget that then. Paint jobs. No reason to change that paint color. It looks awesome. Are there any points on the car I can paint? 
Door handle trim, chrome, don't want that. Get a horn, yes, thank you, Mom. Those are my pipes. Get the eco pipe. No way, dude. Gotta have them chrome pipes. All right, wheels, my flaps, side mirror. Can't do anything new there. Hey, cool, now I have actual beacons. Bull bar. Oh, I could put an oversized placard on there. Warning flag. Ah, cool. That's neat. Air horn should be N. I need to remap that then. I don't have a lot of attachment points. These don't give me any additional attachment points. That's very strange. What about if I change the bull bar? Nope. Huh. I don't have the attachment points that I get on some of the other trucks for air horns or additional lights. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll go with this. That's the steering wheel. That's mirrors. What's this? That's the license plate in front of me. That's the sun shield. Didn't, wasn't there a DLC that gave you like attachment stuff in here or was that only in Euro truck? That's the other mirror. That's that plate. That's that. That's, well, crud. All right, I guess that's it. No, it wasn't. See you later, Shadow. Is this the best truck model that you ever had? I don't even know. Maybe you should look into that. Yeah, maybe I need to look into a different truck. Options. Controls. Aero cabs get less customizations in real life. Oh. So where's my air horn? Beacon is O, horn is plus, air horn NA. Air Let's make air horn plus. Is anything on H? I don't think so. Okay. Let's go to a truck dealership. Can I buy online? I cannot buy online. Why not? Wait, I have to select it first. Okay. Let's look at the Kenworth. The W900s and the T680s. There's the Kenworth Aero Cab. W900 Studio Sleeper. Look at that thing. That thing looks sexy. You know your current stats? Like fuel tank. Yeah. See, that has a 300 gallon fuel tank. I have one. 
six by four chassis, 455 horsepower, and 1,650 pounds foot torque. Maybe I do need to look into some new trucks, like get some Volvos or something. Is there a, is there a mod for the Freightliner Lone Star? I need a shop in New Mexico, probably Albuquerque. I have to actually drive to the city to buy this to buy the garage though. I don't want to quick travel there. It's international. Oh, okay, sorry. Not Freightliner. What am I doing? Is there a garage? There is a garage in Albuquerque. It's there. Can I quick travel there? Let me see if there's a job from Roswell to Albuquerque. Job market. Freight. Roswell to Albuquerque. I gotta haul the same load I just delivered. Ugh, gross. Ugh. Oh, really? Offer expires in six minutes. Crunch. Wait, how far is it? Oh, it's at the cat dealership right next to me. I don't know why it wants me to go left. That sounds dumb. Can I get out? Can I get out? Can I get out? Cool, thanks. Whoa, bro. What the hell was that car doing? Freight. Ugh, I don't want to haul this. Oh, it expired. Ugh, balls. Yeah, I'm gonna. Freight market. That's what I'm looking at right here. I'm starting in Roswell. I can't choose the start and the end. I thought you just did. No. I choose the starting point and then I just search. It only gives me a couple of pages now. So it's really easy to search for the ending point. Balls. Okay. Screw it, we'll just drive up there. Wait, reset nav. Here we go.
Why is there 5 o'clock traffic at 11.30 at night? Seems really weird. Like every truck in the world is coming down this road right now. That sounds a little better. <laughs> that still doesn't. But I can turn on my beacons now because I actually have beacons. Awesome. Why is it turning yellow? Wasn't it just red? I like how the flags actually move, too. That's cool. Oh, nice. See you later, Lucid. Thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna look up some alternate uh, alternate trucks after the stream for a few minutes. See if I can install some mods that add a couple of new trucks. I'd like to get that International Lone Star. That thing looks amazing. How much does a truck driver get paid? Uh, depends on the load and the distance, primarily. Yeah. How long you've been with the company also probably plays a role a little bit. But the further you drive, the more the load will pay you. Uh, either A, the heavier the load, B, the more complicated the load, or C, the more dangerous the load, you'll get paid more. Let's turn on my brights here so I can actually see. Now, if you're actually looking for a dollar amount, you are asking the wrong person. I have no idea. Yeah, at least $20.
I'm correct. <laughs> Which is, is the sad part is you can't argue that technically I'm correct. You get at least twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Hold on, I need to look at my company employees. That's a truck manager. I need driver manager. Uh, they're still working. Okay, Nils is almost done with hazardous cargo. He still has two more to go. Okay. Technically correct is the best kind of correct. Yeah. You're technically correct, sir. <laughs> Just love that. Oh, I'm gonna need to sleep soon. Crap. I didn't even factor that in. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna take a nap right here. It's fine. I'll see it. It's coming up right ahead. Yeah, I need to sleep in two hours. <sighs> There's. This looks like an intersection in our town. Three gas. A, a two-way intersection. Four corners, three corners of which have gas stations. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. It's one intersection, three out of the four corners are different gas stations. And the fourth one is a little sleazy motel. Awesome. See, I don't have a load with me, so I should go into this regular parking spot over here. It won't let me go to sleep here. Okay, so I'm going to have to use a trucker parking spot, even though I don't have a load. So we'll use the one on the end. Plus 80 experience for 100 miles of free roam. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like 45 minutes. Oh, <laughs> That sounds so sad. I also need to get gas. I probably should have gassed up since there was a gas station right there, but... I can go another 900 miles, though, so... I'm fine. I'm just, like, at 45%. Uh, it's on the GPS at the top center. It's like a... Yeah, a gas pump with a little yellow thing next to it. Yeah. Then the, the little truck icon to the left of that is the damage to my truck that fills up from the wheels, uh, the wheels up in red. And then the little bed next to that turns blue when I get sleepy. Yeah, sorry. And then the other one is for email, and you only get email for like the first first maybe like hour of playing the game and then it never comes into play ever again 
Yeah. You get emails from like trucks, uh, truck uh, uh, companies being like, hey, you should buy a truck from us. Or the bank being like, hey, you should take out a loan. Yeah, exactly. How long is the longest mission in the game? Uh, I did a pretty pretty lengthy one just recently from uh, from Oxnard which is near Los Angeles all the way to Roswell I guess you could take one from Hornbrook up here and go all the way to like Hobbs that would be a that would be an extremely long job and then of course once they continue to add more states they'll just get longer and longer there's not really set missions that you have to accomplish in the game. You just go to an area, take a job that is randomly generated, and haul the junk to wherever it needs to go, and then pick up from there. So usually, uh, like for example, I took that job from Oxnard, California, all the way to Roswell, New Mexico, uh, and I got paid like... 36,000 for that job, I think? No, no, way more than that. Like 68,000. Um, and I was trying to get a job from Roswell, New Mexico to Albuquerque. but Because I, I want to do something in Albuquerque, but there wasn't a job from one to the other. So I'm just driving there with no job. I got nothing attached. It's like this really decked out truck with nothing hooked up to it. it looks really sad. That's alright, we're almost to Albuquerque and we will get a job there. Loan installment. paid $5,700 to my loan. I don't even know how much I owe yet. Can I, actually, can I pay it off? I might be able to pay off my loan. Bank. Left to, be, left to repay 68000 Can I, yeah, re just repay it. Okay, loan's gone. I had 300, I had like $380,000. Just repay the loan. <laughs> that way I can take out another loan. <laughs> Sirocco. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, that traffic problem right there. That was crazy. Oh, it's Socorro, not Sirocco. Yeah, buddy. Looks like not all the companies were changed. Like, I'm sure BNSF is supposed to be is supposed to be BASF. Uh, I don't really know what it is, but I remember like in the 90s they had commercials that were all like, "At BASF, we don't make a lot of the products you buy. We make a lot of the products you buy better." And I, I don't know what they do. They don't make anything. They just make the things we buy good. I don't know what that means. I think they're more like a, a plastics manufacturer and stuff like that. It's, it's probably like, for computer nerds, we know the company Foxconn, even though Foxconn, you don't buy anything Foxconn really, but like, 80% of the individual pieces on a motherboard are made by Foxconn. Like, they make almost everything that goes onto a motherboard, but they don't make motherboards. No. It's 
funny that I can remember their little saying from the 90s, but if you ask me what the hell they did, I have no clue. Hey, the Rio Grande? Where am I? Oh, neat. Yeah, cool. That makes sense. Largest chemical producer in the world, huh? Interesting. Yeah, exactly. See, Zill was just saying, I think I was thinking I have no idea who Foxconn is, and then I looked it up and saw their logo and was all like, oh, I recognize that logo. Yeah. Like, they make, they make a lot of resistors and capacitors. They make, um, like, the housings that go around the USB ports on your motherboard. They make the headers and the jumpers. They make a lot of the individual components. And I do think, like, in Asia, they actually manufacture some end products. Uh, but I, if I'm not mistaken, that's a relatively new thing. What's up? Yeah, that's what I thought. Because I, I was thinking, we don't make products you buy, we make products you buy better. I was thinking to myself, yeah. Yeah, or they they're developing plastics so that your your toy that you buy at you know Toys R Us uh, is actually more durable or whatever. That makes sense. Largest chemical company in the world. That's impressive. Well, there's certain industries that, I mean, it doesn't matter how digital the world gets with computers, you're still going to need plastic, bitch. We're going to make, we're going to chemical make that plastic for you. How are you going to microwave your hot pockets? We make those little metal sleeves they go in, you know, that kind of thing. Is this single player? Yes, it is. There is a multiplayer mod uh, for it, but currently speaking, the multiplayer mod is a little limited compared to the full game. Uh, for example, there are no AI drivers on the road in multiplayer. So it is literally only you and only the other multiplayer people playing. And that's it, nothing else on the road. I mean, it makes traffic easier when navigating cities, but it also makes driving between cities a little more boring. And um, the online stuff is also a bit limited as far as the jobs that you can uh, you can select. A lot of the multiplayer, the big multiplayer mod is working on, um, or messing around. It's more role playing than messing around, yeah, because most of the multiplayer servers that are running, they have strict rules against messing around. Like, most of them, you can't drive in oncoming traffic, you're not supposed to try to wreck into uh, other players, you're supposed to go take a job and deliver it. You know, communication with other players should be in relation to delivering your job. There are some that are just goofy, you know, do whatever you want servers, but most of them are serious. And, uh... Okay. Well... Yep. Knowing is half the battle. 
<laughs> whimper. Oh. But uh, one of the, what I was saying, uh, Eric, is one of the bigger multiplayer groups, mods and stuff, is uh, they're trying to make it so, like, right now in this game, you can set up your own company and you hire other truckers to to run jobs alongside you. They're off doing their own thing, earning their own money, and I pay them a certain amount, and then the rest goes into the bank. Uh, and then I can use that money and the money I earn to buy additional garages around the country. Like right now, I only have one in Reno, Nevada. I can hire more drivers. I can purchase more trucks for the drivers to drive. Uh, all that good stuff. But in multiplayer, this is not available. You can't do this with AI drivers, and you cannot do this with real-life drivers. And they're, they're trying to set it up in, in multiplayer so that, like, for example, I could create a company on the multiplayer server, and then I could hire real-life players to join my company, and then when they would deliver jobs, they'd get a certain amount of money for the job, some of the money would go into the company... And then that money in the company would be used to upgrade their trucks, buy other trucks so that they could swap out, stuff like that. So they haven't quite gotten that down yet. Once they do, I am on board. Because I that, that would, for me, would be more fun because then we could be like, okay, the whole, the whole idea around a multiplayer company with all of like the viewers being truckers in my company, for example... Uh, would be like, okay, we need to buy garages in every city and we need to max all the garages out, you know, do everything we can. That would be really awesome. Hello. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry. So yeah, that's that's what I'm really waiting for. And as soon as they get that functionality turned on and working, I'm going to jump on there and set up a company and announce it to everybody and be like, join my company. That's going to be so cool. Okay, so do I want to buy this garage for $180,000? Yes. Okay, so now I have a garage in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Okay, now. Okay, so let's go to, sorry, I wanna go to company manager, garage manager, Albuquerque and Reno. Okay, so we're gonna go to Reno. We're gonna select, wait, these two guys are both dri driving Kenworths, right? Truck managers. Nils and Giraj are both driving Kenworths. So I'm going to relocate myself. Relocate to New Mexico. There. Okay. So now if I go to Garage Manager and I select Reno, it says there's only two trucks there. And if I select me, actually, no, hold on. Driver Manager, me. Relocate New Mexico. That truck. Okay. Alright, cool. So garage manager. Two truckers, two trucks assigned, two drivers. And in Albuquerque, one trucker and one driver. One truck and one driver. So I need to buy another Peterbilt. Preferably different a different model from mine and another driver. So let's go to the recruitment agency. Uh, doesn't really matter which one I select. Hire a driver. All right. So, dude, this guy has a lot of beginning stats. 
but he's also expensive. $18, 18 cents per mile. These are 0.8 rating drivers. Yeah. Dude, this guy has a ton of stats, though. I need to hire him. He's already got two in hazardous cargo, two in distance, and then three in everything except fragile. That guy is awesome. He wants $369 per delivery with an additional $18.18 per mile driven. All right, let's hire that guy. He's a little expensive, but he'll be worth it. We're going to put him there. Okay. So now... Driver manager, Donald, but he's got no truck. So I gotta buy him a truck. I only have 130 grand. So I need to go to the bank and I need to get a loan. Let's get a $400,000 loan. Yes. All right. Uh, truck dealers, Peterbilt. Wait, what am I driving? I'm driving a 579. Truck dealers, Peterbilt, online. The, the 389 is what I need to buy, okay. Three eighty nine Ultra Cab Sleeper. Let's customize that truck. Ultra Cab Sleeper, okay. Let's get a He's got extra distance. Six by two, six by two mid lift or six by four. Let's give him the 6x4 uh, 300. Let's give him a, a cat 625 horsepower engine. That is a monster engine. Transmission. We'll go ahead and keep him with the 14 speed. That's really good. Interior. Ultra premium or the standard. We'll go with the standard. Color. Green? Green? Yeah, the dark green. I should repaint the other trucks too. Yeah. You sure you don't want the rodeo? <laughs> He's gonna be good everywhere. Good. There's rodeo, there's Hellrider. Cougar. All Hallows Eve for Halloween. Wings of Freedom. I don't need all this wings of Freedom. Okay, you just want straight up green. Yeah, see how good it looks when it's dark green? Do you want metallic green? Wait, hold on. This. Let's go. Keep his preset. Okay. Use that preset. Use that preset. Darker? No, I like it. You like that color? Yeah. Okay, if cool. If you want it darker, you can have it darker. I just wanted a, like a good, nice hunter green. I like that. Okay, go for it then. Okay, slightly darker. Okay, that looks nice. I know. <laughs> All right, truck accessories. So let's go. What do I? What's going up here? No. <laughs> let's get the beacons. the beacons. 
Hey, air horns. This is what I'm talking about. Big roars. Let's put some big roars up there. Okay. Looks pretty good. All right, sun visor. Let's go with a colored sun visor. That works. Painted mirrors. Okay. I like the painted mirrors. Air filters with lights. Chrome air filter with light. Exclusive. Let's get the chrome air filters with lights. That works. I like that. Door handles should be painted. Oh, the tanks. So we've got standard side skirt, chrome tank, standard side skirt, chrome side skirt, exclusive. Oh, with lights. Awesome. Yes. Painted tank. I like that. Okay. What's this? Oh, warning flags. Hell yeah. He's going to be carrying heavy loads. Wait, hold on. Okay, it's going to... He needs that bumper if he's going to have the oversight load thing on. Okay. Let's go with the exclusive grill. Hood ornaments? Oh, no. Let's go with that. Cool. I like it. I like it. What's this? Standard mud guards. What about the flaps? Let's go with black flaps. Standard exhaust. Let's go with exclusive. Those look cool. I like it. How do you like that? Here? Yeah. Cool. I think we'll go with that. $194,000 for that truck. Cool. Purchase. It's going to go to New Mexico, and it's going to be assigned to Donald. Thank you for your purchase. We'll deliver your truck to the garage. Insurance has already been paid. Okay. So... Now, driver manager, he now has his own truck. Yes. So he'll be able to start running jobs for this location. And he needs to, we're going to level him up on hazardous cargo as well as everybody else. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Let me look at the other trucks. Mills's truck. Let's upgrade his truck a little. Those have got to get out of there. It shouldn't. Yeah, we're going to change the color. Here we go. 
this truck. Oh no. A blue color? Yeah. Okay. Let's go metallic. Like a rich blue? No, maybe like a lighter blue, maybe. Maybe a rich blue. I don't know. I want to, I'd need to see it all. Ooh, like that looks nice. Like that? Yeah, that kind of has a nice blue. Okay. Yeah, maybe like that. Yeah, that looks nice. That I kind of like that too. Yeah, it is. Cool. What kind of engine does he have? 500 horsepower. Let's give him a slightly bigger engine. These are identical, just whether I want a Caterpillar or a Cummins. Let's give him a Cummins. And he's got an 18 speed. That's good. All right. Upgraded engine. And this guy. Oh, my God. God. Look, look at how rinky-dink. Oh. Why has he been stuck with that car for a while? Okay, let's give him a mid-lift. This truck's going to have major upgrades. He's going to need a 300-gallon tank. Let's give him that set. Let's go six, six by two mid lift. Let's give him the 550 Cummins. He's only got a 10 speed. Oh my God. Let's give him that better. Okay, there we go. God, his life has probably been miserable. Probably. And you're like, let's just, let's just give him whatever I can. Alright, accessories. Look at the skirts on this thing aren't even painted. Okay. Oh, we want to repaint the whole thing. Let's do exclusive side skirts. Let's give him beacons. Man, I am sorry, dude. He doesn't even have a sun visor on. Let's give him the sharp one. Exhaust will go with dual. I feel kind of bad. This guy's been stuck in this truck for so long. <laughs> it's okay. He's not real. Oh, yeah. Good point. <laughs> he isn't real. Oh, I feel so much better now. I think the gray interior looks yeah. better. All right, color. What are you thinking? I said we'll ask two. Maybe you could choose one. Unless you want me to just choose another one. Uh, I'm just going to go with a straight matte black. Well, this is matte that's shiny. Is there matte? Is matte an option? Probably not. What? Steampunk? Yeah. I'm going to go with that one. He waited so long for a truck upgrade. Let's give him a good paint job. Okay. You still, I love that you still feel bad about him. I know. I'm like, dude... That guy's been there since the beginning of the game with this shitty truck. All right, cool. Good job, Bruce. Thanks. All right. I need gas. I don't think you do. There's a gas station right there.
I'm facing the wrong way. Awesome. It's all right, I'll just go this way. Walmart, woo! There's a Best Buy. Yeah, that is a super fancy Best Buy. Holy crap. The other benefit with uh, having garages in different areas, like rather than upgrading the garage that was up here in Reno and hiring more drivers here, I bought a garage in Albuquerque because they're limited by currently their drive distance. So these drivers aren't driving over here to get jobs. So they're missing out on all the jobs in this area. The one thing that bugs me is that the drivers won't leave a certain radius of their home garage. I mean, I get it, but what I mean by that is the driver will take a job, let's say from Albuquerque to Roswell, right? And then the only job they'll accept out of Roswell will take them back to Albuquerque. That's the only job they'll take. If there isn't one, they just say there's no job and go home. I wish they would take a job that comes out of Roswell and goes to some other distance equal from Albuquerque that Roswell is. So I mean, I, I get that they don't want to get far away from quote unquote their home garage, but you know, as long as they're kind of in the same area, it should still count. Let's get gas. Fill her up. 300 gallon tank takes a while to fill up. 201 gallons. That's a lot of gas. So we're going to go ahead and sleep. We just slept, but that's okay. Because I want to have a full tank of gas and a completely rested guy. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and call it there for today. So thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I appreciate it. And we will see you guys next time.